Hi, I'm Richard Weiss from ABC's Born to Explore. As an explorer, I've traveled to all seven continents. But when you go to Alberta, you feel like you're in God's country. It is one of the most magnificent places on Earth. When you talk about dinosaur digs, Alberta, Canada isn't the first thing that jumps to mind. But the recent finds there at Pipestone Creek could be one of the most significant finds ever. Dinosaurs create all sorts of fantasies. It's mythology, it's discovery, it's investigation, it's unfolding pages in our history books. You know, when I watch movies about dinosaur digs, it seems so glamorous. I could, I could see the glamour here pitter-pattering on the tarp above us. Exactly. When you learn that dinosaurs were actually real things, that they actually existed, and you can let your imagination go wild uh, about what they were like when they were alive, I think it's very special. It really, it, it's a good hook on kids. If you think geologically how long they were on Earth and what it took to get rid of them, it was a very successful... Uh, oh yeah, they had, a, they had a great run and in fact, um, they are still very successful. I mean, a lot of people still don't realize this, but birds are in fact the direct descendants of dinosaurs. And so we still have over 10,000 species of dinosaurs alive today. That's a big success story. Certainly when you talk about Alberta, you can't help but notice its stunning vistas. But to me, what makes it memorable are the people. You go around there and you see one smiling face after another. Dance seems very universal. Almost everywhere you go, Native people have a dance. What's the interpretation or, or, or meaning of your dances? Our dance is for Cree Nation to honor our, our, uh, our, the four-legged, the two-legged animals. All those that, uh, that help us in our everyday living, that singing and drumming, that's the heartbeat of Mother Earth. That's the heartbeat of our nation. Now with the dinosaur bones here, is there a connection in the overall spirit of this land? We call them our grandfathers, and uh, usually we don't dig them up, but this is different. It's, it's something that we need to see where, where Mother Earth came from, and where we take what we get from Mother Earth is a blessing. And we respect Mother Earth, and she in turn respects us. Every time I go on an adventure like this, I realize how many things out there are, are waiting to be discovered. I feel really blessed by this experience. This is a special place on Earth.